Anchor winches, they really are a hot topic amongst Australia's boating community. And for good reasons, because a good anchor winch can really improve your overall boating experience. So we thought it was about time we put them to the test. You know the great thing about these products, as compared to say the boats that I usually test, is that we can put them into a lab and measure their performance accurately. That's exactly what we're doing here today. We're at the Melbourne Testing Services, a NADA accredited lab for testing to stringent Australian standards. We're gonna be comparing the top four brands in Australia with testing criteria including pulling power, drop speed, torque, features, and the overall construction. Here it is. Welcome to the long awaited drum winch shootout. Follow me and let's get started. Let the testing begin. We chose the top four anchor winches available in the country for this exercise and it's all to do with the manufacturer's recommendations for an average six metre boat which is probably the most popular size winch and boat in the country. These have all got about a 240 to 250 millimetre spool or drum diameter and all of these winches take the same size rope, the same diameter, the same length and are all recommended to have the same amount of rope and chain. All of the manufacturers manufacture a winch very similar in size and shape. It just so happens that each and every one of these winches is the second smallest winch in every manufacturer's range. Keeps it consistent. The anchor winches that we've chosen for this test today are the Lone Star GX2, the Stress Free Mini, the Sav 1000 SS and the Viper Pro Series 2.
So we lift the 50 kilogram mass up five meters and then back down again repeatedly. So essentially it's a fatigue test and we're looking for either a circuit breaker to trip or the motor will stall. Okay, that winch torture test. Here we go. In the testing we found that the sav winch achieved two full cycles before the unit no longer operated. We tested the Viper as well and that achieved 42 cycles and then the circuit breaker was tripped. The circuit breaker was also tripped during the testing of the stress free that was after 29 and a half cycles. We tested 100 cycles of the Lone Star GX2 uh, and then we aborted the testing with no failure observed.
the sun's going down and the testing's all been done. We've run all of these winches through a gamut of parameters, all individually measurable parameters. So when I'm testing your boat, it's all a bit personal. Things can change, weather, horsepower, motors, but with machinery, it's easy to test it in a laboratory as we did here. So what we've seen is four winches and each one of those winches has been successful on the Australian market in their own right. But we've gone one step further. We've set benchmarks for the industry and you can either live up to them or not. That's up to you. That's up to each and every individual winch manufacturer. But we reckon we've done something good by setting a standard here. And at the end of the day, for when you're going boating, it's all about having some fun on the water and doing it safely and making your life easier. And that means more enjoyable. This has been John Willis and I hope you've enjoyed it.